Hello people, I hope you are doing great. Welcome to our channel. And in this video, you are going to learn how to pass parent value into child jobs. Okay, so this is one way only parent to child in this video. Okay, first of all, there are multiple ways to pass your values of your parent job into your child job. And before starting with the values transfer, let me tell you what is parent and child job. Let me, uh, let me talk in Java terms. In Java, we have one class and multiple methods in that particular class, okay? Similarly, parent and child job or sub job, you can see that. Parent job can be called as a main job and child job can be called as a sub job. Similarly, uh, like we have subset. Subset is a part of a set, similarly here also. So parent job will be your main class and child jobs, uh, child jobs are your methods that can be more than one, more than two, uh, can have multiple methods in a particular uh, Java class. Okay, same same logic here. And uh, uh, and yeah, in, the, in a main job, you can include any job as a sub job or child job within your project level. So whatever uh, jobs you have under this project that you can select as a sub job in okay and a main job out of this you cannot so i hope this is clear and now i will tell you two ways to transfer from parent to child job you have multiple ways so i'm just giving you two scenarios how we pass values first i am this is my main job named as parent job okay and this is my child job and how to uh, yeah how to select the child job let me tell you that also if you want to include another talent job as a child job of a uh, main job then do one thing uh, just type t run job so this is a component that here it is written job so you need to select under this job design under this project level which job you want to select as a child job you can select any uh, job because you know in java we have that we can call any class in a particular package okay so similarly here also so I want to call this child job as a, my me, uh, sub job. Second thing, in this uh, you can see that die on child error. Like I have multiple, I have ten to five su sub jobs. Okay, in this main job, and I want uh, that. Okay, if my job got aborted in the middle, then please don't fail my main job. Let it continue further, further uh, continue, and uh, follow its further uh, process or flow. But, uh, you know, die when my last sub job get an error. So if you don't want to abort your main job on uh, failing of any single sub job, then uncheck this. If you want, then check this. Okay. So I hope this is clear. This is one way to your, you know, select your child job. Another way is go to this repository section, select any, uh, whatever job you want to select just click a uh, drag and drop in your design workspace it will automatically select as a uh, child job because you can see that this is a t run job component okay so this is the another way now uh, let us see how to pass values so i will tell you two ways and let me show you what is my child job so basically in child job i'm just fetching data from my mysql and saving it to a file and in file name, I have used two context variable. That is my file path and current date. So my file will be saving in a particular directory. And directory should be dynamic. Like this week, some other file. Uh, next week, another file. So that's why I pass the value in context variable. Similarly, date. Because date will be dynamic and it run daily. So that's why I pass the values uh, with the help of context. So this is my child job. Now, first rule, I want to pass because this is my child job and two values are getting passed with the help of context that is file path and current date. So these two fields should be created here. Okay, whatever context, uh, you know, uh, field you are passing in your any file in anywhere in your sub job, then that need to be present in your this context tab. All right. Next thing, well, this is my T set global ware component. Same thing, uh, same thing which I'm going to pass in my sub job that is file path and job date. I have created a variable name here and pass their values. 
so values values uh, path i have decided and uh, data is this one we will make it dynamic don't worry right now my file path is this one so when i will run this job it will take this if i will change the value of this file path then my location will be different so changing in my main job will reflect changes in my all other sub jobs so this is the main advantage of passing value from parent to child you don't need to you know change in every particular sub job so just one time change and it will uh, impact all the sub jobs next thing so uh, whatever value you want to use as a context that should be present in your sub job level also and your parent level also now click that particular sub job in which you want to transfer the data and check this checkbox transmit whole context okay and this is context parameter they there are two columns one is a parameter second one is value so parameter here your this is pick list value if you will click on plus then you will reflect two fields and these are those fields that were created in your this particular sub job level so in this particular sub job level i have these two fields so that field values only will get reflected here all right so i will first select file path okay hold on now second i want to pass my current date correct so these are the val these are the context uh, variables that is of my sub child job not parent job now values are transferred from parent so what values i want to transfer the value saved in the t set global var so just click control and space type t set global var related its global uh, you know is uh, variable get reflected so i want to pass file path in this value and current job date in this one okay so value should be transferred in the correct field only so if i pass job date in file path and current date in this uh, this values you know just reverse of this so so your file will get wrong name that's why all right now i will run it let's see right now what what uh, directory i have chosen file path as a output let's just see if there is any file or not yeah there is so let me delete this and i will run it so in my output my file should be present there with the same date which i provided in the variable of set global var component so this is the one way so uh, my job got completed if you will see okay okay means that everything was okay at the component and yeah my file got completed successfully now uh, suppose tomorrow my clients want that okay this location is full now change the directory and you have 50 sub jobs suppose you have 50 sub jobs in your that main job will you go match, uh, change your uh, location manually in every sub job no na so what will we do we will just change in the main job and it will reflect the changes in all the other job so that's why this is the you know this is the advantage of your passing from parent to child now second thing this is job path first i showed you how to transfer from a global variable second uh, this is my parent job context group right so now a job path is different that is archive one and date i will select as 7778 because this would be different okay now this value i need to transfer not global variable component value so i will change value okay this will change so context because that is a part of context so context dot job path job path in the file path and context dot dt so date will be passed in this current date see if you will change your this context context variable then it will reflect there also okay see it is uh, showing you yellow because that is not matching so see reflect changes reflected that's why this is the fields populating from your child job level and this is the value that we are transferring from parent level 
So my values got transferred. Now I will just run the job and new file will be created in this particular archive folder. So there are multiple ways to transfer. This is the basic two ways like context and the global variable. So yeah, okay, I'm done. See, seven, eight, 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 eight. Okay, so I hope this is very clear to you. And if you learn something, then thank you for watching this video. Take care, bye-bye.